Hi everybody and welcome to my vlog. So this week's vlog is going to be short and sweet, but really important. So I'm going to explain to you the difference between body identical hormones and bioidentical hormones. And there's a very good reason why I'm doing that. So I belong to a Facebook group of 11,000 women. It's called the Latte Lounge and it's for women over 40 to discuss absolutely anything they want and it's amazing. So you should join if you're over 40 of course because that's one of the prerequisites. And I will put the address of that in the notes afterwards. Health issues are often discussed and I'm often there to advise and menopause is one of those, as are hormones generally. And there is a spin-off group from that called the Menopause Support Network. And I'm going to list that for you afterwards because it's a really useful group. But I'm seeing more and more often in these groups confusion between body identical and bioidentical as terms for HRT. So I'm going to try and dispel that confusion today. So the first thing to know is that what most women are after with their HRT or any other drug for that matter is that it's natural. And that's understandable because you want to think that anything you're putting into your body is as natural as possible. I think a warning to sound here is that just because something is natural doesn't mean it's safe. So laburnum seeds on a tree are natural, but they're not safe. They can kill a child. Deadly nightshade is natural, but it's not safe. So natural does not equal safe. That's the first thing to know. Many, many, many medicines are made from plants and they are therefore natural, but they're not always safe. Getting your HRT from an NHS GP or a private GP who is prescribing the same things as an NHS GP, i.e. as per the NICE guidelines, is safe and that's a really important point. And it doesn't mean that because it's an NHS GP or a private GP prescribing the same that it isn't natural. It probably is and we'll go into that. But this is why it's really important to understand the difference between body and bio-identical hormones. So let's start with body-identical oestrogen, because oestrogen is the hormone that you lose at menopause and the one that it's really important to replace, because it's the one that takes away the symptoms. So previously, and this is I think where the confusion starts, HRT was made from horses urine. So it wasn't identical to our own hormones, it was identical to a horse's hormones. And therefore it contained oestrogens that we don't use and it made oestrogens that we don't need. So most HRT is now not made from horse's urine, it's made from plant extracts. Body identical oestrogens are readily available on the NHS from your GP. And hopefully this vlog will allow you to go to your NHS GP armed with the information you need and say, this is what I want. Body Identical HRT is made under strict UK medicine management guidelines in a laboratory. It's tested, there have been trials, and every single product is made to a certain standard and we know what it's going to deliver into your body with every dose. And that's really important. You can't manage a medicine if you don't really know exactly how much of an ingredient is in it. So that's crucial. It's made from plants, usually yam extracts, but it's completely natural. It has the same molecular structure as the oestrogen in our body, the one that we had before we lost it at menopause. And that applies to progesterone as, as well. Body identical progesterone is exactly the same structure as the progesterone in your body. So, body identical hormones are natural, manufactured to an absolutely safe standard, and identical to your body hormones. So, to just start threshing that out a little bit, when you get your prescription from your GP, whether that's private or NHS, all patches that deliver oestrogen and all gels are body identical. That's all you need to know. The tablets are not, so that's important. I will put some details at the end and I've got one to show you here today so that you know what you're asking for. So this is oestrogel and this is a body identical hormone available from your GP. It's a pump 
So it's a nice pump dispenser that delivers exactly the right amount of hormone onto your skin to be rubbed in every day. There it is. So that's important to know. So if you're asking for a gel, it's Estra gel. Just put that there. Probably fall over now. So that's estrogen. We also have body identical progesterone. So there are many types of progesterone. So you get progesterone only pills, progesterone only coils, progesterone only implants. They are not actually progesterone. They are a mimic of progesterone, a synthetic progesterone, which is called progestin. And that is not body identical. So the only way you can have body identical progesterone as part of your HRT is as a capsule that you swallow or you place into your vagina. And that's micronized progesterone and it is body identical. And the brand that we use in the main in the UK is called Utrogestan. And I've got some here, so you can see how that's spelt. There we go. So that's Utrogestan. And these are the vaginal capsules, so they're 200 milligrams, but there's an oral one as well, which is 100 milligrams. When you get the vaginal one, or if you get the vaginal one, it comes with an applicator that you actually just pop it to the top of your vagina. The vaginal one is actually not licensed for HRT, but some doctors do use it because if there are side effects from taking the oral one, the vaginal one sometimes avoids those side effects. Because this is a body identical hormone and it's actually matching your own body's progesterone, there are less side effects than the synthetic ones. Progesterone you have to have as a tablet or a vaginal capsule. You can't have it as a cream to rub in the skin. There is no evidence to suggest that that is safe and I'll go on to that later. Sadly, the progesterone that you get in HRT patches and the tablets are not body identical. So if you want a completely body identical HRT, you need to have an estrogen patch and the progesterone tablets or an estrogen gel and the progesterone tablets. But I'm going to do a list for you afterwards so that you can refer back to this. And then there's body identical testosterone. So we have that as a gel as well. Here's one now. This is Testin. There are lots of different brands. But again, this rubs into the skin and it's absorbed straight into the bloodstream and that's the safest way to have it. We don't give testosterone when we give it to women as anything but that gel. All of these hormones, the estrogen, the progesterone and the testosterone are available from your GP on the NHS. You might need to help them sometimes, give them the information and I will put it afterwards, but they are all available and they are completely safe and we've tested them and we know how much is in every single dose that we give you and that's the really important thing. So what are bioidentical hormones? Because you will hear this all of the time. It actually means exactly the same as body identical in that the hormones contained within them are completely the same as your hormones in your body. They match your hormones. So in that res respect, they are actually the same. However, they are absolutely not the same as the body identicals available on the NHS. Bioidentical hormone practitioners, and there are lots of them out there, use preparations which are not regulated in any way by the UK Medicines Management. There are no standards of how much is in each preparation and there is no real quality control. Quite often the practitioners use a saliva test to check your hormone levels before prescribing and there's no evidence that these saliva tests are accurate or give a true picture of your hormone levels. The products that they give you, which are normally creams and gels that rub in or tablets that dissolve under your tongue, are made in what's called a compounding pharmacy. And these pharmacies, as I've said, are not subject to the same standards or checking or regulations as pharmacies that make these drugs. These are pharmaceutical companies. They are custom made to you and there are combinations of the different hormones. So the estrogen is mixed with the progesterone or the testosterone so that you get an all-in-one cream that is made for you. This has appeal and I can see why people want to do it and it all sounds fabulous that it's made exactly for you in the right dose and in the right combination, but 
There are several flaws. Firstly, as I've said, we don't know exactly how much you're getting each time and is the dose right. We also know that progesterone delivered through the skin in a cream may not give enough protection to your uterus and that's the most important role for progesterone in HRT. There haven't been enough tests or trials to actually prove that it is adequate and if it isn't adequate and you are using it for a period of time, you're putting yourself at risk of endometrial hyperplasia, so the lining of your womb building up, and that can cause cancer. So it's, it's not an insignificant flaw, it's important. And these creams often contain other non-tested or unlicensed drugs, for example, DHEA, that you weren't intended on getting and don't actually need. And that's a major concern as well. There is no evidence that these bioidentical hormones that are made up in compounding pharmacies are any more effective or have fewer side effects or are safer than the HRT that you can get from your GP. The body identical preparations are safe and tested. They're very expensive, they're potentially dangerous, they're unregulated and therefore they're not necessary because with the right GP and the right information you can get the treatment you need with body identicals from them. The British Menopause Society, which is a great resource for all of the studies and the research on what's new and what's current, have actually looked at this in depth and I've got a quote here from them where they say these products are an unregulated compounded mixture of various hormones put together without the vigorous licensing standards which apply to normal pharmaceutical products. The FDA in America is concerned about the claims for safety, effectiveness and superiority of these preparations that are made in compounding pharmacies. They have no proven efficacy or safety and their use is not recommended. And the BMS is the go-to resource in the UK for practitioners and members alike to go to for well-researched scientific evidence on all of these products. So I'm quite happy with the research that I've looked at to actually make this video and you can see from the statement from the BMS which I'll also put in the notes that it's not just my view on here, it's backed up by this research and science. So what's the answer? So the answer is yes, you need body identical hormones for the best HRT result and the fewest side effects. Oestrogen delivered through the skin is the safest and has the fewest bad oestrogens to cause other problems, which is why there is no risk of DVT or stroke. Progesterone needs to be taken as a tablet or vaginally, not delivered through the skin for maximal safety. Testosterone needs to be delivered through the skin. And if you have a combination of these, if you need testosterone, and most women don't, all of these products are available on the NHS. And they're all tested, proven, and safe. And I'm gonna put a list of the different products that you can expect in the notes afterwards so that you've got a crib sheet should you need to go and have this conversation with your GP. So hopefully that's clarified everything for you, and I hope it's been useful. Please don't hesitate to ask me any questions at all at the end. Um, menopause always generates lots of questions. And please suggest um, subjects that you'd like me to cover for the future because I'm more than happy to do it. Take care and as ever, thank you.